Hello again, everyone, and welcome back to another beautiful day on the Nerdcraft SMP. I have a great episode planned for you today, as usual. In this episode, I am going to be working on my storage system. Finally, after all of this time, I can move out of that little shack filled with barrels and make a nice, big, automatic sorting, automated storage system. I can't wait. I have been looking forward to this since I started the construction of my mega base. And finally, it's going to happen. I have been digging and digging and digging and digging and digging and digging and digging. And I have been working on building the room. And in addition to building the room, which I have finally finished, I have been laying out exactly kind of what I want for the storage system to look like. So I don't want to build up the suspense too much and go do other things or something like that. So I'm going to show you the storage system first thing. Let's go look at it right now. But before we do, just remember the Nerdcraft SMP is recruiting. If you'd like to join, it's nerdcraftsmp at gmail.com. If you're a content creator, send me an email and we'll discuss how to join the server. Also, if you haven't already, please like the video because that's always what the YouTuber is supposed to say at this point. And please subscribe because it will make this cyborg pirate feel that much better. All right, let's get to that storage system right now. So the area that I made for it is if you just come out my bedroom, then it's down these stairs right here, and then you'll come to the first section. So I have laid out here what it's going to contain, and this, if you don't know already, is a storage silo. So this is going to be my bulk storage section where I store my stuff that I'm gonna have a lot of. And this was one that I just did up to test out the exact mechanics of how it would work. And in testing it out, I realized that I have a lot of stone, like a lot, a lot. Additionally, a lot of that stone came from making this place, but I did not realize how much it was. It's a lot. So I put all of my stone into this system. And as you can see here, it's gotten up to that light. So it's getting pretty full. Now, one thing I have incorporated into my storage system is this right here is a shulker box. So this one here is full. So what I can do is grab a empty shulker box and then hit this button, pick up that one. And then when that goes down, I can put another one there and it'll start filling up. So what I've been doing with these is because if I just had loose stone, I would have more than can even fit in this silo. So what I've been doing is I fill up a shulker box and put it in this bottom one so that if I need a lot of stone, I can just grab as many shulker boxes as I need. And if I just need a few, I can just grab it from here. And then this right here is my dropper elevator that will be filling up all of the different storage silos. So there's the item filter and it goes across there, but eventually it's going to go all the way across. And then when you put stuff in here, it goes down into the system and then through the droppers. And then that will bring it into this, which will filter down into the system. And so this chest will fill up first just because of the way that these hoppers like to work. This chest will fill up first, and then when this one is full, it'll start filling up the shulker box. You can put in five double chests of stuff at a time, and it'll all sort through the system. And when you get a shulker box full here, you can move it into the system or just press the button and take it with you if you're in a hurry. And so this is gonna be all bulk storage. Then once you get over here, this section, and all of down here is going to be just my regular storage. So for each item here, I'll have only two double chests full of storage. If I have to, of course, I can always do the shulker box trick with stuff here, but I guess it would be more of a manual way of doing it here. So this is just me laying out uh, the design of how it's going to be so that they don't affect each other with the redstone torch and all that. Yeah, there'll be a big chain of hoppers that connects it and it'll go through the entire system filtering down and then at one point I'm also going to need to have some kind of an overflow. So initially it's going to be set up so that these things don't have anything assigned to them and then I'll start assigning 
what's going to go into this one, what's going to go into this one. And then, of course, these are going to extend all the way over. And then if I have something that's not assigned, it'll go into the overflow system. And then in that, if I see like I only have two of that or what three of that, I can like have a system to sort it all. Like, for example, stuff that's made out of wood. Like, usually I only have like three stairs and two doors because I only need one and I make have to make three. So I have like just a few things of stuff that's made out of wood. So I might just have a chest somewhere for just stuff that's made of wood. Maybe up, up there I'll have like my random stuff, right? Because there's going to be sorters on that side and then I'm going to have a bunch of free space right here. So here I can have my just random things and then here will be all the stuff that will have its own sorting system and then if i notice hey i've got you know five stacks of doors i can actually set them up with a system to sort them okay so that is the basic layout of the storage system now i'm going to have to go and get a lot of resources because i do have some of the redstone for this already but I'm going to have to go on a major collection spree because this is going to be very resource intensive. So I will show you what that looks like when I am done. Well, this bad boy is my bulk storage system. And you can see each item of what it is right here. And of course, if you need a shulker box at a time, I kept this system. You just hit the button to get uh, the shulker box broken. I don't have a lot of sand right now. I'm working on getting more, but this stuff is the stuff that I tend to have a lot of and not much to do with. So that gets, I think there's seven double chests for each one. And you load it up here. And of course, so granite is not in here. So if this goes into the system, it'll pass by all of these and it'll end up down over here at the overflow, bulk storage overflow. So that should, it might take a minute to get through the system, but there we go. It'll we'll start coming in after a bit. So anything that's not one of these things will end up down here in case I'm loading it up and I accidentally put something in that doesn't belong. The rest is going to be the smaller versions that only have two double chests for each thing and that's going to go down here, wrap around and come back. And it's going to have a similar loading system so I'll be able to come and just throw my whole inventory into it and then it'll go through the system, sort what can be sorted and then it too will have its own overflow system of just random things or unsortable things as well which i may actually reserve like this whole last section for that because there's probably going to be a lot of stuff that doesn't necessarily have its own sorter or potions and of course shulker boxes are going to need their own section so that's the first part done now i'm going to really need to collect a lot of resources because i think the numbers that i had had over a thousand hoppers and a thousand chests, double chests, which that was for my old area. And this area is a lot bigger. So I am going to be doing some serious grinding now to finish the rest of it. But at least I've got the storage silos completed. And now I can focus on getting the major part of the project done. And hopefully adding some nice decorations in here to make it look nice. Okay, so I will be back with some resources. Okay, so I have been doing some pre-planning essentially here. And what I've got going on here is going to be a double speed sorting system. So as you can see over here, it fits less chests uh, because I won't be able to essentially reach that high, but this should make it so that the sorting system can work double the speed. Now this is going to be the overflow right here, but essentially things are gonna come down and then I got this design here from Il Mango in the SciCraft server. It's a three-year-old design, but it does seem to still be working. You have this hopper facing down and then you have this hopper completely filled up. I have yellow wool because that's what I'm using for my sorting system, so that's what I have the most of. So this hopper is completely filled up and then this hopper is filled up like normal and then this hopper will end up with just one in it. So the way that I made it double speed, hopper speed, is there's two hopper lines that go into the dispenser, one on the side and one on the top, and then that goes into the soul sand elevator and 
it comes out this way, goes around the water, and then up against the chest, so it's half over the ice, half over the chest. And then it should go down along the double speed sorting system and pick up all the stuff. Now, the plan is to have it go down, wrap around, go up another bubble elevator and come back and around again on top with yet another water line and some chests. And then the final product, which would be everything that doesn't have a sorter. Or what I noticed is that some of the stuff does make it past sometimes. So there might be uh, like a little bit of extra of things that go in the sorting system are going to come back and they're going to go into the overflow chests. So I guess that would be if it just happens to be going too fast for that hopper to pick it up. But usually I don't think it will. Like there's going to be when I'm initially setting this up and I'm bringing all my stuff from my main storage over to here, that's when there's gonna be lots of stacks of everything. But most of the time, I'm just gonna come empty out my inventory and let it go through. And there shouldn't be like five stacks of the same thing where it can't pick it up all at once. So hopefully I won't have to do too much taking it out of here and putting it back into the system to get resorted, but we'll see. So now, I have most of the yellow wool. I had to convert my wool farm into just yellow since I decided on yellow for the sorting system. Um, I have an insane amount of hoppers, repeaters, comparators, redstone dust, and redstone torches. So all I need to do now is extend this down over, down this way, up, and back around, which is going to take a lot, but we're Minecrafters. So what, what do we do? We spend hours doing stuff like this. And that's what I'm about to do right now. Okay, so that is the bottom section completed. The reason why I paused here instead of making the time lapse go all the way is that I haven't exactly figured out block by block where everything needs to go to send the items that make it through this vast array of chests up to the next level, because then it's gonna go back all the way around and back through the overflow system. So I'm going to spend a little bit of time just figuring out how to make that work exactly. So I will be back after I do a little bit of a design for something to lift the items that make it through up to the next level and then back around. Okay, so I will see you on the flip side. Okay, so I think this is it. I was hoping to get these a little closer together, but I don't think I'm going to be able to. So it looks like in this situation, it's going to be a, a two block gap, but I'll still be able to reach what's on top. I'll just use the two block gap to have like a sign here saying what's here and a sign here saying what's up there. That way I'll be able to see what's at least in it a little bit easier. So the as the items come through here, they end up going through here, up the soul sand, and then snaking around so that they smash up against the chest. And then they'll be going down for another segment that is going to be just as big as this. This is probably the biggest storage system I have ever made. Actually, this is definitely the biggest storage system I have ever made. But I wanted to do it, so I'm doing it. So now that I know exactly how this is going to fit together, it's just a matter of repeating all of this all the way down and back. So I will do that again in the form of another time lapse.
Well, here it is. Besides the decoration that does need to happen, and of course, filling up every single one of the sorting systems, this should be it. I'm very fortunate that I found the double hopper speed unloader from El Mango, so excited about that. So this should be a very fast working sorting system compared to most. Unlike the bulk storage system, that's going to be kind of when I just unload a bunch of stuff and it'll slowly tick its way through the system. This should be quite a lot faster, so I'm very happy about that. But yeah, I don't know if I'm going to get to it in this episode, but I definitely have to fill up all of these and then put item frames or something along those lines saying what everything is going to be. So that is going to be quite a monumental task of its own. But that is it. That is the giant storage system. And I built it here thinking that I didn't, I wanted to avoid lag, but oddly enough, this doesn't create any lag, at least not in a way that's noticeable on the readout of the server. So that's pretty good at least. I guess I could have built it in my base, but it's probably better off that I built it here. So that is it for this episode as far as the storage system goes. It is definitely a thing of beauty and it's only gonna look better and better the more I get done. So at this point in the video, I just kind of want to show something off. During the week, Pedram was on and he said he left me a little gift in the airship. So I went inside and what did I find but this? A real life steampunk robot with two heads. This is pretty much the most amazing thing I have ever seen. Like I didn't even think in terms of building like this with copper. And it's so perfect, I can't even describe it with words. And it comes with a little instruction book here. Good evening, insert human's name here. We are Eliza and Al X, your personal robotic helpers. We can help you pilot your airship using commands such as if going to crash, don't. We are a smart robotic helper and will continue to learn more commands as our AI continues to process. Thank you for your hard work, insert human's name here, and congratulations on reaching 1000 subs. Have a adequate continued human existence. Signed, Eliza and Al X. I think this is such a wonderful, wonderful thing and I think I want like a hundred more in my base because it fits the style so perfectly. So big thank you to Pedram MC, and uh, I will be definitely doing some help for you because you've earned it with this. Thank you so much. Well guys, that is gonna be all that I have time for this week. Thank you so much for joining me. I always appreciate you guys watching these videos. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please remember to leave a like, and if you haven't already, please consider subscribing since most of the viewers are not subscribed and you can break that cycle. I hope you all have a wonderful week and I will see you next week.